going guys it's Cody and I'm back here for a new update and in this update I've got a great variety of things to show off I got some blu-rays I've got a few Screen Factory titles I've got an era video release as well as my first two Vestron video releases that I picked up I also got a couple of DVDs a couple of VHS's and also a book and a magazine so I've just got kinda of this you know just a cool variety of things to show off in this update um, so yeah I'm, I'm gonna not going to waste y'all's time talking. I'm going to go ahead and sit down at my table and uh, start showing off everything. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first two things I'm going to show off uh, is the magazine and the book that I picked up. And they both are, um, they both have something in common because they are both related to one of the greatest horror authors of all time. He recently had his birthday a couple days ago and that is Stephen King. So, all right. So the first thing I'm going to show off is something I picked up at Kroger, and this is a pretty cool magazine it's from Entertainment Weekly. This is the ultimate guide to Stephen King. Um, I have not read this, but um, it's got a lot of great photos and a lot of great articles about each of King's, uh, you know, King uh, films based on Stephen King's work, um, as well as articles about the books themselves. Um, now, I'm sure you can get a lot of this information online, but I still wanted to pick this up because I just thought it looked really cool. Um, I really like this this image on the back of King, you know, on his motorcycle. I don't consider what I do work. It's making stories up in my head. And I think that that's what every author or every, um, you know, filmmaker or artist should think. You know, it never it should never feel like work. It should feel like you're creating something amazing. And that's what King has done with his work. Um... So yeah, like I said, a uh, pretty cool magazine. Um, I might do a separate video just showing this off for anyone who's seen it, but I picked this up at Kroger, like I said. Um, it's not really cheap. It's 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 about $13.99. So um, yeah, if you're interested, I've seen it at Kroger, and I recommend uh, picking it up before uh, you know it's, it's hard to find. All right. Now the next thing I got is a book, and I picked this up at Ollie's Outlet for about $4 or so. And it's also a Stephen King book. And this is Doctor Sleep. This is the sequel to The Shining. And uh, I wanted to pick this up because, well, you know, The Shining is, is such a classic uh, Stephen King novel. And uh, I thought it would be really cool to see, um, you know, see where the book, the sequel goes. Let's see. I love this back right here. This is a great image of red rum underneath the, you know, underneath the bathtub. Which, if you've read The Shining or if you've seen the movie, then you know the significance of the bathtub. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm really curious to see where the where the sequel goes. You know, I've heard it takes place years after the original story, and it follows Danny. Um, so I'm really intrigued to check this out. Um, now, I'm already reading two other books right now, so it's going to take me a while before I start reading this. Um, so I don't plan on, I honestly don't plan on starting to read this this year. It might be sometime next year before I start reading it, but I do hope to one day start reading this. All right. And now I'm going to go ahead and show off the DVDs. Um, the first one that I got is not, it's not necessarily a DVD. It's actually three Blu-rays in a DVD case. I got this from one of my coworkers, Justin. And one thing that he would do is, if he lost the covers for movies, then what he would do is that he would make his own um, combo packs for different films. Um, like this one right here. This is the uh, iRobot. This is the two-disc collector's edition DVD. Um, the case... As you can see, it's got a lot of special features, but inside this case, it does not have the two DVDs. Instead, it has the Blu-ray of iRobot, as well as the Blu-rays for the RoboCop remake, and the Blu-ray for Surrogates. Um, I, now, I have not seen any of these movies, actually, and I'm really... Looking forward to checking this out, but like I said, this is what he would do. He would make uh, his own custom, um, you know, combo packs if he, for some reason, lost. Like, in this case, he lost a case for, uh, you know, iRobot and, and RoboCop, and so he just put, you know, the Blu-ray discs um, into uh, the iRobot 2-disc uh, co collector's edition uh, DVD case, which is pretty cool. And he also gave me these. These are pretty cool. These are promotional cards that were released um, as promotion for um, when they re-released Alien to theaters or when Alien Covenant was coming out. These are very, very cool. There's nothing on the back of these. 
That one's very cool as well. He just threw these in. And then the last one, right here. So yeah, these are very, very cool cards. And um, like I said, these were released in promotion for, I believe it was when um, Alien was either re-released the theaters or when Alien Covenant was coming out. And um, these cards were, if anyone knows anything about these cards, let me know. But um, yeah, that was just a cool little three Blu-ray combo pack that he had made and gave to me. Now, next thing I picked up, I picked this up from FYE. And this is a movie that I've heard, you know, things about. I, I saw the trailer of this years ago and I've always wanted to check it out. Uh, Snoop Dogg's Hood of Horror. Um, this movie just looks like a crazy, over-the-top, bloody, fun movie. Um, the only thing is, is that when I got this, the uh, the DVD was still sealed, and on the bottom of it, it had the really, really it had the, um, yeah, as you guys can see, it is, it had one of the, uh, you know, the um, security stickers across the bottom, and they were the really strong stickers, you know, the ones that they used to put on DVDs that were so hard to uh, open up. Well, I was trying to pull it off, and it actually pulled um, not only part of the plastic, but it also ripped the case on the bottom of the actual DVD, which was absolutely ridiculous. The fact that it was so strong, um, but it also shows how old this movie is, because this movie is, you know, I mean, it's not like, I mean, really old. I think it came out in 2007, I believe, but it just shows how old the DVD is, because, you know, since it... You know, back then, they used to put really hard, um, hard to open, you know, um, um, security stickers on them on the top and bottom of the cases. I'm sure if you're somebody that's been collecting for years, you remember, and, uh, yeah. So, anyway, despite that, I still want to check the movie out, so I'm excited to see that. Up next, I got this at Ollie's Outlet as well. Um, Stilato's, uh, or Stilato's Dance, starring... Eric Roberts. Um, I only got this because I saw the trailer for it and I thought it looked kind of interesting. This was a dollar fifty, um, so I thought I'd just give it a chance and check it out. It, it looks like a you know a cop goes undercover for the uh, you know for the, with a Russian mob and of course he gets in over his head. So it looked kind of interesting. Now I'm gonna pick. Now I'm gonna show off DVD that I picked up from Fye, and this is a movie that I've actually had on VHS, but I never opened it because. Um, it's still sealed in the plastic, and I wanted to keep it sealed, and I've always wanted to see this movie, and when I saw this, um, at FYE, I decided to pick it up, and that is the film Magic. This movie has always looked really creepy. Something about dummies and dolls and horror films, you know, those are always creepy, and this looks like one of the creepier films, uh, involving a, a puppet. Um, the stars Anthony Hopkins and Anne Margaret, and, uh, it just looks pretty interesting. This is the Dark Sky Films release, and like I said, I picked this up for, uh, $5.00. I know it's on Blu-ray, but I figured for $5, you can't beat that. And like I said, I do have it on VHS, but when I bought it, it was still sealed, and I didn't want to unseal it. Um, but I still wanted to check the movie out, so there you go. All right, now I'm going to move on to the two VHSs I picked up. And I actually got these at a yard sale, and a, the woman there had a ton of VHS tapes. She mostly had a lot of generic stuff that you, you usually see everywhere, but she had a few cool tapes. She also um, had a couple of shelves for sale, and um, you know w when I first came over, one thing that she said was, "Hey, if you uh if you can fill up a shelf of VHS tapes, I'll give it to you for five dollars." The shelf and all the tapes. Um, obviously, I I, w I couldn't find any I couldn't find enough tapes to fill up the shelf, but I did find two cool tapes, and I asked her, "Well." can I just buy the shelf? And she said, yeah. And she uh, gave it to me for $3. So I will be doing a separate video showing off that new shelf. Uh, I actually got two new shelves and both of them I'm going to be putting movies on because I just need more space. Um, so I will be doing a separate video showing off the shelves, but I'm going to go ahead and show off the two tapes. Both of these are from the um, Anchor Bay clamshells, which are releases that I enjoy collecting. The first one is Raz Putin, the uh, Mad Monk. Um, from the Hammer Collection, this is still sealed, which is very, very cool. Uh, I've never seen this movie before, but I really wanted to um, add it to the collection. Because as you guys know, I, I really love collecting Anchor Bay releases. Um, and I've heard that this is a pretty hard to find one, so very, very happy to pick this one up. And then the next one is Two Blank Blacktop. This one's open, but... Yeah, like I said, a movie I've never seen before, but I've heard really great things about it. This is the collector's edition. 
uh, once again Anchor Bay clamshell so really looking forward to checking this one out as well alright now I'm going to move on to the Blu-rays and the first Blu-ray I'm going to show off I'm sure you guys keep seeing it because you know every time I move the camera over you can see it but I picked this up at um, my local big lots that I work at uh, for five dollars and that is Godzilla on Blu-ray. Now I know that a lot of people have mixed feelings about this. Some people hate this movie. Some people find it entertaining for what it is. I've always enjoyed, found it entertaining. I've had it on VHS for years. Uh, back when it first came out, I, I picked it up. And I thought it was really fun as a kid. And now that I'm older, I do understand why this movie is not considered a great film. But I always found this movie to be really entertaining. I've always enjoyed it. And so I figured, you know, for... Five dollars or three dollars, or I forget exactly how much it was. I figured why not upgrade to Blu-ray. I've always found it to be a fun film. All right, and now the last uh, couple of Blu-rays I'm going to show off are the three Screen Factory titles that I picked up, and the and I've got two of these from Fye, and this first one is Carrie. Um, this is one film I've been wanting on Blu-ray for a long time. I really enjoy the film. One thing about it is, as you guys can see, there is a uh, this has it has bent edges, and the reason why is because for some reason when they when they put plastic the shrink or the shrink wrap over the slip cover, the slip covers always get damaged. I don't know if you, I'm sure you, if you're somebody who collects a lot of movies with slip covers, you notice whenever you know they put shrink wrap over, they always make them too tight and they always damage the slip cover. And there are um, you know some of the cases, like even on the back right here, it's kind of damaged. And I always hate that. I always prefer it when they put the, the shrink wrap over the regular Blu-ray and not over the slip cover because then the slip cover doesn't get damaged as easily. Now, of course, uh, you always have to worry about you know shelf wear, but I mean that's just that's what can be expected. But um, like I said, um, I've always wanted to check out. Um, I mean, I've always wanted to pick up Carry on Blu-ray. It's one film that I've always enjoyed. Um, Saw this out, and you got the original artwork, which I've always loved. Scream Factory always. You know, has it, and this is a nice two disc set. So yeah, like I said, I'm glad to own the movie, glad to have it with the slip cover. I just wish that, you know, they would put the, the shrink wrap over the actual Blu-ray case and not over the slip cover because they always end up getting damaged. That's also one reason why I don't mind if I find a movie without a slip cover, because I'm not somebody that goes crazy over slip covers. You know, if I if there's a movie that's been released with one, then obviously I do want the movie to have a slip cover. But if I don't get it with a slipcover, I don't get bent out of shape over it. You know, because I'm just happy to own the movie. And this is one movie that, you know, I've, I've had it on VHS. And I've been wanting to get it on Blu-ray, so I'm glad to own it. So, rather or not it came with a slipcover, I would have still picked it up. And uh, But I am glad that I got it with a slipcover. Now, next one is one movie that I really, really enjoy. And that is The People Under the Stairs. Another great collector's edition from Screen Factory. And again, it does have some shrink wrap or you know on the on the corners it got a little bit of a damage but it's still in fairly nice condition i've always found this movie to be really fun it's a great movie to watch around october i know that amc used to play it a lot during their fear fest and this is a great great west craven film one of my favorite films that he's done um let me slide off the case um if i can get it off this kind of a there we go i've always really liked that that case as well um, it's going to be kind of hard to slide the case back into the cover because another thing about slope covers is sometimes they get pretty um, tight, but there's the original artwork, which I really love, the original poster art. So yeah, like I said, the people under stairs, I really, really enjoy this movie. It's a great Wes Craven film, and I'm glad to finally own it on Blu-ray. I've had it on DVD. I have it in a three-pack with two other uh, Wes Craven films. And then the last Screen Factory release I picked up, I got this at Walmart for $10.00. And it's one I've, I've heard about. I've heard it's pretty good. The Autopsy of uh, Jane Doe. This is the Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Uh, just one movie that I've heard great things about. Um, one thing I liked is that the um, the shrink wrap was not over the slip cover. So the slip cover is actually in pretty nice condition. It was actually over the actual Blu-ray case. And I don't understand why they don't do that for all Screen Factory or all movies in general. Uh, but yeah, very, very happy to own this film. Um, I've never seen it before, like I said. But I've heard really, really great things about it, and so I wanted to add it to my collection. So that is it for the first part of my update. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, the second part, I'll be showing off some um, 
you know, kind of random Blu-ray pickups, um, all horror titles. I'm also going to be showing off the my first two Vestron video releases I picked up and my Era video release. So stay tuned for that. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed part one of my new update. Let me know what you guys think about everything that I picked up. I know I went through this kind of fast, but I just have a lot of things to show off in this update. And I wanted to talk a bit about each one. Um, so let me know what you guys think. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in part two.